So, yeah, we are moving to our last talk for today. Uh, and I would like to invite our virtual studio, our third speaker, Vadim Kvalkov. Hello, Vadim. Welcome to Javelin Conference. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you that you invited me for such a great conference. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so I would say uh, you're not the only speaker, but it's your second conference, right? So second in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the second yeah, so, conference. Yeah, so great, great to have you, have you again. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, thank you. I just like your match, and uh, I would like to receive one more uh, shirt or something <laughs> like that. So, yeah, so this, is, this is the only point I'm at the end of the session. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not a big secret. That's it's right. not even a secret at all. But yeah, all our speakers receive uh, special uh, gifts from us. So guys, if you want to be part of Jovan Conference and receive cool gifts, you may submit your talk next year. We, we're we will be glad to have you to have you among our speakers. So, Vadim, just a small question. Yeah. Maybe you can give us a hint what your talk would be about. Oh, it's kind of about the cost optimizations. Uh, nowadays, you know, it's really painful situation on the market or all over the world. And uh, if you can uh, some way optimize the costs, it's really, really great and crucial scene could be. So mostly it's about it and the tooling I am using uh, during this uh, POCs and migration still. So kind of like that. Okay. Well, sounds sounds really interesting. So guys, Hello. just yeah, just a reminder: we have two chats, one on YouTube, one on our platform, and we collect your questions, comments, reactions whatever you want to share with us there and there we monitor both chats so your questions we will ask in the end of the talk we really appreciate your participation and your active participation so thank you very much for being with us here so i think we can dive right into the talk so vadim uh good luck good luck good luck <laughs> okay, and okay, let's go let's and let's go okay let's go uh, one more time, hello everyone, and uh, I'm really happy to attend this such great conference. And uh, um, during my speech, uh, we will discuss uh, my experience with the migration to JB and Distrolis, along with the advantages and challenges encountering during uh, the, this process. So, uh, before we begin, uh, let me provide you with an overview of uh, the agenda for the discussion. So firstly, I will briefly introduce myself, my experience, domain and technical stack. After that, I'll introduce the GIB and Distillus concepts. We'll take a look at the problems we are facing on our current project. And uh, moreover, we'll take a look at the storage and network costs, kind of say NDA, but mm, not about the numbers, I believe. So, uh, and uh, the security concerns as well. Uh, after that, I will provide you a solution I used to migrate and cost optimize. And then we'll take a look on the results and some insights into the uh, optimization of storage and network costs, time to market improvements and enhanced security for sure. And uh, finally, we will sum up and gather everything in one bucket and I'll share my thoughts with you. I believe you could share your thoughts with me also via chat and your uh, questions. So we will delve into each of these topics through the course of my speech. Okay, uh, so let's begin. Uh, who am I? I am a chief software engineer at the pump systems with more than eight years of extensive experience in the IT industry. I'm specializing in domains such as human resources, crowdfunding and healthcare. Currently, I hold the position of discipline head for advanced software engineering in the IPAM, uh, at IPAM in Belarus. And I am a T-shaped professional with a strong uh, foundation in the GVM stack area and related micro frameworks. Uh, aside from my work at EPAM, I am a patient performance optimization enthusiast and recognized by Gatlin uh, in 2022. Giving back to the community, I contribute to 
open source uh, projects, share knowledge as a public speaker and author articles as a technical writer. During my leisure time, I enjoy hobbies like boxing and reading. Okay. And uh, moving to the next section, uh, introduction. Uh, let's review the GIB and Distillus concepts. GIB, short for Java Image Builder, is a tool that constructs uh, optimized Docker and OCI images for Java applications without requiring a Docker daemon or in-depth understanding of uh, Docker best practices. It's available as plugins for um, Maven and Gradle, and I will clarify this moment a bit later. Let's take a look at the main benefits of using JAB. Uh, firstly, uh, it's fast. Deploy your changes fast. JAB separates your application into multiple layers and splitting dependencies from classes. Uh, now you don't have to wait for Docker to rebuild your entire Java application. Just deploy the layers that change. That's it. The second, it's reproducible. That means that rebuilding your container image with the same contain always generates the same image. Never trigger an unnecessary update again. And the third point is the JIP is diamondless, reduces your CLI dependencies. Build your Docker image uh, from the plugins in Maven or Gradle and push to any registry of your choice. No more writing Docker lint and uh, calling Docker build, Docker push comments. Okay, let's go to the distroless. Distroless uh, images contain only your application and its runtime dependencies. Uh, they don't contain package managers, shells, or any other programs you would expect to find in a standard Linux distribution. Restricting what uh, is in your runtime container, what's necessary for your app is the best practice employed by Google and other tech giants that have used containers in production for many years. It improves the signals to noise of scanners, uh, kind of CVE, common vulnerabilities and exposures, and reduces the root cause analysis uh, for different security problems, for instance. Uh, moreover, every Google distillous image is signed by Cosign, and you can easily verify it. Distillous images are very small. In example, uh, the smallest distal image is around two maybe bytes. The distal Java image contains a minimal Linux, an open GDK based runtime. Who uses distals? Kubernetes, Native, and Tecton, and other giants. Okay, I hope that I introduced the JIB and Distillus, let's take a look at the problems and discuss them. And uh, firstly, uh, I would like to mention working on my current project, uh, I decided to check our images um, for vulnerabilities and dive deeper in them. It was a pain for me to find that we are wasting our memory, time, and it's not a cost-effective way. The previous image was constructed using Debian 11, uh, which, uh, according to Docker Hub, contains 256 packages and has been found around 145 vulnerabilities. Uh, as an engineer, uh, I decided to not to trust a single source of truth and double check it. The tool of my choice to check the, vulnerab to check the vulnerabilities in Gripe, um, it's a vulnerability scanner for container images and file systems developed by Anchor company. And uh, this company is specialized on the security policies, compliance requirements, best practices and security in common. 
So you can find this uh, GitHub uh, repository of Gripe following by provided QR code. So reviewing the results, I noted that Gripe has identified 550 15 vulnerabilities and almost 300 packages in it. Um, it this contrasts the Docker Hub scan, which reported only 145 vulnerabilities and 256 packages. And uh, take a look. We have 34 critical and 126 high high severity problems. Right? Okay, for image in depth investigation, I use the dive, a tool for exploring a Docker image, layer contents, and uh, discovering ways to shrink the size of uh, Docker OCI images. It's built on Golang and developed by Alex Goodman, who is a tech lead at Anchor Company. Upon examining the image in detail, I observed an image size of 760 megabytes, and there was nearly 100 megabytes of potentially wasted space. At the same moment, I decided uh, to calculate the build time for our images. In uh, my current project, we spent approximately 12 hours per day, collectively, building images for different environments, which is a significant amount of time and resources. Almost 12 hours for builds per day, or in other words, 266 36 hours per month, or 2,840 hours, or 170 days per year for running our Git runners and paying for them. At this moment, I decided uh, that I have to improve the product delivery, optimize the costs, uh, and uh, manage the risk uh, risks on the security level. Several uh, years ago, I was wondered uh, to find the GIB and Distralis and uh, being a knowledge thirsty person, I decided to give a try these tools and approaches. And uh, JB and Distalis uh, justify the desire. I was sim it, it, it was uh, simple for adoption and uh, no more Docker files, uh, layers resyncing of their optimizations, Docker build and Docker push comments again. Mm, delivery pipeline lays on the developers, uh, on the building tool, the single Gradle JIB command on the CI CD pipeline is replacing a dozen of painful manipulations made by DevOps team. And uh, I took a decision to prepare the POC to compare it with the existing solution. Uh, now I will describe you what kind of steps I passed to migrate it. Um, this is a piece of a great dull build script uh, in our, one of our services and nothing special, typical setup in most of the projects based on Springboard. And uh, there is my table changes. I added it into the plugin section. It was too hard to adopt, <laughs> uh, but I solved the problem. And but unfortunately, this is not the only step. The plugin is flexible. You could choose a base image for uh, your application in the section from and define the outcome image in section two. Uh, moreover, uh, it's, this setup uh, contains a container properties. You can set up the app root, uh, define the labels, uh, open the ports, creation time, 
even the GVM properties uh, could be added, added here. And for sure, to add the non-application uh, related files I, uh, available here. So you can find it in extra directories. In our case, uh, it was the APM agent, and it was pretty easy to edit here and set up uh, permissions. But uh, please be careful with it and the perm review it twice your permissions and the files you are edited. Uh, what about the base images? Uh, in case of using Google Distillers images, uh, you can choose the debug or debug non root images for local development processes or testing, kind of like that. And however, I strongly advise against using them in a production environment due to potential security and stability concerns. Sorry. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, let's compare it uh, with the Docker. And uh, previous solution was using the Docker file uh, that contains uh, instructions to define uh, base images, copying files, install dependencies, and configure the, the application. In it corresponds to each instruction in this file. File and uh, the other point, the users need to install Docker runtime on their machine to use the Docker engine for building images. Um, nowadays, everybody knows about the problem of supporting Docker desktop. So uh, using GIB uh, solves this problem. You could remove it easily your Docker desktop and use GIB for building your images in this case. And uh, generally, this solution uh, is slower uh, is slower than JB uh, as it has to execute each Docker instruction, sequential, and commit to the result as a new layer. Uh, this approach often have a larger size due to extra base layers and additional dependencies. Finally, using the Docker file as the dependency of Docker linters uh, in the CI CD, for sure, if you are following the best practice. We'll compare these metrics in the near future. The using of uh, JAB doesn't require Docker file and Docker engine. No need of learning Docker in this case. It directly builds efficient container images for Java applications using its plugins, automatically creates an optimized image, separating the application layers for dependencies, resources, and classes. JB intelligently caches and reuses layers uh, between builds, uh, making incremental uh, builds incredibly fast. And of course, um, it optimizes the image by organizing the contents into well-defined layers, resulting in smaller images and faster pool times. Let's highlight the benefits. No need learning Docker saves the time on the onboarding new developers, focusing on the business as soon as possible. Now any dependencies such as Docker desktop, Docker engine, etc. Incremental builds, it leads to a better time to market metric. Optimized smaller image Cost optimizes for the storing, transferring, and other processes. Less packages, less potential security issues. I will provide you more details about it. So. Setup of delivery process uh, migrate 
it's a two building tool from the DevOps team, as I said before. Uh, but it could be mentioned and will be mentioned on the next slide because of not everywhere it could be a benefit uh, due to the fact that the migration part of DevOps uh, configuration to the backend part involves DevOps anywhere uh, or um, and, and anyway uh, or um, someone from the development part. So uh, we discussed the benefits and it would be nice to highlight the limitations for sure. And firstly, it has uh, limited customization in more complex use cases. Uh, for instance, uh, not supported multi-stage builds. In... It's uh, language specific if we are talking about uh, the packaging applications and designed for Java projects and Kotlin as well, yeah. As I mentioned, uh, uh, it would affect uh, a pipeline configurations. Not so much in my case, but it could be painful. Classification setup requires uh, the knowledge of the environment where you are going to deliver the image. There's a point of uh, environment. You should understand that the base image fits your environment. Check it twice. If not to dive into details, it works uh, like a magic box. And finally, my favorite one limitation. It's still open. Since GK21 um, has been released, we are expecting an updated distillless image that supports it. Um, however, there are some challenges, uh, such as distillless images are based on Debian, and GK21 support on Debian uh, might not be ready available. There is a difference in behavior uh, between non-root and debug non-root images. Uh, the debug uh, image uh, contains the JDK, uh, whereas the non-debug image doesn't. Concerns about custom trust tours and the difference, uh, uh, different behavior observed uh, with JDK 17 and JDK 21 distillers image. And, uh, but there are different solutions. For instance, using firmware in GDK uh, and uh, it's providing separate images with GDK and GRE or having the GDK image without these bugs. Uh, this approach is already in, in testing and even uh, there are already in uh, the Google Cloud registry and you can check it. Um, as you can see, the JIB is not a silver bullet, not, but this approach um, fits for my project. Let's compare the results. Um, firstly, let's take a look uh, at the security. Reducing the number of packages uh, in an image uh, can be an effective uh, way to minimize vulnerabilities. In comparison to the previous image, uh, which contained uh, almost 300 packages and uh, almost 500 vulnerabilities, our new image demonstrates significant improvement. With a reduced package count of 139 packages, the vulnerabilities have been brought down to 39. And notably, none of them critical. This highlights the importance of maintaining a smaller package, uh, pa package count uh, to ensure enhanced uh, security and stability in our uh, containerized uh, applications. 
a few number of packages uh, in uh, your image can significantly reduce vulnerabilities. This rule is evident in our new image. In comparison to the previous image with 760 megabytes of size and 94 megabytes of potential wasted space, our new image, which measured at approximately 273 megabytes, is significantly smaller than the previous 760 megabyte solution. Furthermore, the potential wasted space is minimal and is only 600 bytes, not 100 megabytes. This decreases uh, in image size. Uh, this decrease in image size uh, not only enhances the performance, but also aids in optimizing storage and transferring costs. Uh, previously, um, the build process took nearly 12 hours uh, per day, amounting to 236 hours per month, or 2,840 hours, which is equivalent to 170 days in a year. Such extended build uh, times incur considerable costs uh, for Git runner operations. With optimized uh, implementation, we have successfully reduced the annual build time to 1,720 hours per year. And uh, this significant reduction in build uh, uh, hours leads to improved efficiency and considerable cost saving for Git runner operations as well. So we are close to sum up it. Let's compare the costs and I will share with you my thoughts. Upon comparing costs uh, across various project environments, we have um, successfully achieved a reduction of up to 60% in expenses associated with transferring, storing, and running these environments. Additionally, we have decreased the build time up to 39%, leading to reduced costs for delivery. This reduction in build time significantly shortened the time to market. Shorter time to market. The awesome metric to penetrate the market as soon as possible. The TTM uh, metric contains development, build, packaging and deployment and testing time. It sums it. So in terms of development time, if you can faster build your image, uh, it shorts the local development as well. You are not spending a lot of time for these purposes and checking it locally. In terms uh, of building the packaging time, it becomes shorter due to the fact of JB caching mechanism and the deployment and delivery processes uh, because shorter due to the savings uh, uh, for transferring and storing uh, shrank images. Lastly, and crucially, we have now reduced the number of security vulnerabilities by nine times and resulting in considerable cost savings. Testing becomes shorter in terms of security testing. The exact amount saved um, due to the improved security is difficult to predict, but it's uh, unquestionably significant. Okay, uh, what to bring into production is up to you. I strongly recommend to review your environments, architecture, 
the leader strategy and other crucial moments in your current pro project. If this approach uh, is working uh, for my project, doesn't mean that it fits everywhere. But for us, uh, it was a significant improvement. Three times less size, nine times fewer vulnerabilities. And as a result, less time to test, less time to build and deliver, less time to fix vulnerabilities, less time to deploy and roll back, less time to fix production issues, less money to spend on infrastructure for storing, delivering, and transferring images. And for sure, more time to drink coffee and find new ways to improve our projects and products. Thank you everyone for attending this session. I am really happy to be a speaker on the Java on conference. Probably you have several questions for me. I am ready to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for a great talk. Thanks a lot for deep dive in such great topic. So yeah, we have a couple of questions. I would like to pass the voice to Evgeny to ask them. Yeah, thanks so much, Vadim, for your great talk. So let's start with the first question. Are there anything uh, that might be done via direct Docker file, but might not be done or not so efficient in terms of the JIP plugin? Uh, sorry, could you please repeat? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any kind of the things that might be done via directly a Docker file or in, in the instructions inside of it and might not be done with a cheap plugin? <laughs> I don't clearly understand you anyway. <laughs> Your question, could you please rephrase it? Uh, yeah, generally, so cheap plugin is a kind of the instrument that you use uh, as a some kind of the intermediate level between your build system, yeah, like Gradle, and uh, making the final image. Uh, and uh, maybe there might be some kind of this efficient ways, yeah, to do like, so you, in your example, you had permissions setting, yeah, for yeah. an agent that is running. Uh, maybe something like that in uh, some um, kind of the uh, options, yeah, that might be done within just shell commands but JIP is not good fit for such kind of the things. Like network, maybe setting up of the network things. Sounds like that. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I probably some has uh, interruptions in my, I, I will put my headphones. I... Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. Sure, sure. No worries. Hmm. Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, while we are connecting, uh, while Vadim is connecting his headphones, guys, yeah. just a reminder that we uh, are open to receive your questions in YouTube chat and on the platform chat. Also, I want to say that all the presentations from all our speakers will appear on the platform in this section of the talk. Uh, for example, uh, Grace's uh, talk of Grace talk is a presentation already there. So you can find it out and also we'll request presentation from all our speakers and put them on the platform. So now coming back to the question, what you can hear as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear well. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, so let me uh, repeat it one more time. Yeah, with a paraphrased uh, option. Yeah. Uh, so in one of the uh, in one of the parts of your talk, you uh, showed that uh, there is an option, for example, to set the permissions. Yeah, to the things uh, for the uh, final uh, image that is built and so on. Uh, are there any kind of the things that uh, will be in more convenient to set up with a Docker file directly? Uh, then uh, to use a Jeep plugin and its internal configuration elements uh, uh, for, for doing some kind of such Jeep. configuration uh, elements. <laughs> Jeep, yeah. This has confused me because if you're saying a Jeep and for me it's JAB and I don't understand what is it Jeep? <laughs> I, I, I just made it short and yeah. <laughs> no, no. Worries. Okay, so if, if you're talking about the moment where I've added the APM agent, if I understand correctly, and set up for permission for it, the other way to add it uh, using JB, uh, there is no, no any point. 
So, but when you are using Docker file, you could add, add any copying or any directory. Say. So, if you are proficient with the Docker, you, you could easily set up it. In, in terms of JB, you could use extra directories and add this um, in this section uh, everything you wish. But uh, to be honest, for the latest three years of using JB, this is the first time I uh, had to add something on the extra direct directories, uh, and it was the APM agent for. Uh, telemetry. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so sounds good. Uh, another question is coming is that is related to the uh, base image. Yeah, so um, mm -hmm. one of our listeners is asking about um, considering such uh, images, Alpine Linux Docker image yeah. for um, migration to the JIB as a final solution. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I tried and uh, before the distro list. Uh, uh, I, um, it, it, it'll be confused because of, uh, do not mistaken, don't, don't be mistaken in terms of JB and digital image. JB is a Java image uh, builder. It's just a set of uh, rules and uh, uh, presets that are helping to build you on the Docker image without uh, Docker engine. Um, and uh, in terms, we are talking about space, uh, uh, talking in terms of the base image uh, kind of the alpine uh, images could be uh, checked for the vulnerabilities you can find that uh, it uh, has uh, packages and shells you can attack them as well and they are less secured uh, in, in comparing with the uh, uh, digital for instance but uh, mm -hmm. as you saw uh, as you can find the limitations i listed before uh, this uh, this approach uh, could could be painful as well, so be care. And, but but it, it could be helpful, like a gun, but do not shut your legs. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess the last question from my side, so uh, that is coming. You mentioned that Java twenty one doesn't support it, yeah, right now, and uh, is not adopted uh, to JIP plugin. I mean, so the Ad usage of uh, JIP plugin on top of that. Already is adopted. <laughs> ah, okay. So it's yeah, closed, yeah. right? But bug is opened. Um, it, this bug is related to Debian. Uh, oh. And, Tri and Trixie, uh, Debian, uh, um, 13 version of Debian, Trixie, and uh, now uh, will be released in 2025. Uh, and uh, still, the JDK is not ready. Uh, there are no any uh, support of Debian uh, JDK 21. But Eclipse team uh, provided the Tamarine. And uh, if you will go through the uh, issue that I uh, pointed in the uh, presentation, you will find that uh, it works. Uh, sometimes uh, it could be painful with uh, certificates. So you have to uh, copy it in, 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 during your building time. Yeah, uh, they uh, appear time to time. With, uh, th th these problems uh, appear from time to time. Um, it's not clear for me uh, um, what to do uh, in uh, the future, uh, but I, my day is starting uh, from a grabbing a mat of coffee and uh, checking what is going on here. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, I think uh, that, mm -hmm. yeah, the, uh, I think that was the last question. Okay, great. So, so uh, you, you can ask me whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> About your hobbies, maybe. So yeah, thank you guys. I think you can find <laughs> you can yeah, you can you can find Vadim still in chat and YouTube. You can post your questions. Thank you, Vadim, very much for your great talk, for great topic. Yeah. Uh, we were glad to host you on our conference and glad to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, that you asked me to attend, and uh, it, it was. One more incredible experience, and I hope we will uh, see you uh, in uh, 2024 the Java conference. Maybe yeah, offline. Hope, hope Maybe offline. Well. <laughs> like this, like this. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. I.